A judge lifts a restraining order and some 911 dispatchers, they're less than thrilled. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm AJ Hilton. The order delayed the opening of a new Ingham County 911 dispatch center after workers argued they weren't properly trained to work there. And as Caroline Vandergriff reports, the judge's ruling means the center, it could be open in just a few weeks. The new Ingham County 911 call center can now open, but it was a disappointing ruling for the audience of 911 dispatchers. They're not happy about it. I mean, they don't feel comfortable in this life and death job. An attorney representing the dispatchers argued they were inadequately trained for the new call center. But Ingham County officials say the dispatchers have received 40 hours of training and are ready to use the new phone system. It is my opinion that the uh, 911 dispatchers at the city of Lansing and East Lansing are very experienced, consummate professionals, and I think that uh, they'll make the transition and we'll be there to assist them every step of the way. Ultimately, Judge Joyce Dragon Truck ruled the court simply doesn't have the authority to block the call center from opening, since there are no state standards regulating dispatcher training. With the judge's ruling, the county will open the 911 center um, with the training that's been done, and they proceed at their own peril. The new dispatch center, located on Jolly Road, east of Cedar, features state-of-the-art equipment and combines the Lansing and East Lansing centers. Once this call center opens, county officials say it will save taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars annually because of its reduced staffing. County officials hope to open the new center in just a few weeks, and they say they're confident the dispatchers will be ready. In Lansing, Caroline Vandergriff, Fox 47 News. Ingham County officials say more than $80,000 have been spent on training the dispatchers. Another 40000 will be spent on training when the call center opens.